so much happening, concrete being poured, heavy equipment are being mobilized, the building being erected, all of that taking place at the same time. Buzz of activity to ensure that this plant can be completed at the earliest possible time. Remember, this will add an additional 500,000 gallons of water in the initial phases per day. Init uh, ultimately, the government wants to have a million gallons of water being produced from this plant, but initially starting with 500,000 gallons. Joining us this week on Waterworks again is project mechanical engineer Brian Nicholas of the APUA. Mr. Nicholas, thank you so much as usual for sharing with us and our audiences here at Waterworks. Behind me, the main building being put up. Let's walk me through that, please. Sure. Well, what do you see happening here is that the main members, the main steel members, support members for the building, and this building will actually house the main equipment for the reverse osmosis plant. To my right, uh, where you see the concrete pump, is actually the raw water pump room was being cast. Now just for context, the raw water pumps are responsible for bringing in the untreated water into the plant with this process by the reverse osmosis plant. Excellent. So the raw water pump is being uh, set up, it's being cast, that's right behind us there. Yes. What's this building right immediately behind us? That building is an annex. It will be used for the maintenance of the same raw water pumps and other activities, other maintenance activities as well. I get the impression just from coming here within the last few minutes, the, the sense of urgency, the kind of buzz of activity, a lot happening at the very same time. Are you on schedule on this for this work? Well, as far as our work is concerned, we're pretty much on schedule. There are some major, some minor hiccups that we're facing, but I don't think those are going to affect the, the, the outcome. And note I said, as far as the building and the construction is concerned, Absolutely. we are doing everything we can to move the project forward, move it forward insofar as what we are directly responsible for. Yes, indeed. And of course, that's the, you know, the civil works, making sure that when the plant arrives from Waterworks in Dubai, that you can actually get ready to install it as quickly as possible. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Because the plan is, even though the building may not be complete in its entirety, we want to be in a position that once the plant is here, we can actually start the physical connection of the plant and perhaps testing whilst other activities are ongoing to complete the structure. Here is another aspect of the work taking place just behind me. Uh, joining us again is project mechanical engineer Brian Nicholas to walk us through what's taking place now. Brian, take me through. Sure. Well, what we're looking at here is what we call the outfall or the Brian line. We are preparing this line so that we can take it out to sea. But before we do so, if you notice, there's a set of colors that our guys now are putting on the pipe. These are to add weight to the pipe. Because unfortunately, unfortunately, the HDP pipe is extremely buoyant. Right. So these added weights will help in the first instance to secure it once water is introduced. So let me take you through the process of what will happen. Once we have fixed all these blocks on the pipeline, we will then shove it to a boat where it will float. Notwithstanding, it has over 100,000 pounds of weight. Of course, just a few chains from us are people enjoying a sea bath. What would you have to say about individuals who are planning to come to the beach, for example, over the, this weekend and the uh, you know, following weekends about the work that's happening here? Well, I mean, first we'd like to apologize for the seemingly obstacles that are on the beach. However, you can still enjoy the beach. Notwithstanding we have it laid out, you can just cross over. We apologize, but this is necessary because as you all know, we are trying to improve and get ahead of the water situation now in Antigua. So just bear with us.